Yo, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make anime base house. What the f I know you're also asking what the heck is anime base house. So the formula of anime base house is base house plus Japanese or Korean acapella equal to anime base house. So yeah, this is this is the basically foundation of anime base house. I'm going to show you how you can make that. So this is the breakdown of my new song Brutal Neko with Jim vs Lock and Unknown End. The main foundation or you can say the main idea was created by Jim. I just added some few elements, added some stuff to make it more uh, professional. <laughs> So basically the drop idea was made by Jim. I added some stuff so it can sound more uh, fuller, thick and powerful. Let's dive into the video or you can say the breakdown of my song. So the BPM of this project is 126. So we're going to start with the intro. So the intro is very basic. We have only few elements, Reese bass, some plug, atmosphere, some vocal chops. Look. And I also added some atmospheres like this. Also this plug. Like vocal chops, not plug, but yeah, you get the point. And this pad kind of thing. This is the same pad I use in escape. Reusing the same preset. And this vocal chop kind of thing. So the intro all together sound like this. Now the build up. So for the build up, I use the same elements that I used in the intro. So I also added some drop elements in the build up so that the listeners can anticipate what is going to be in the drop. I don't know how to explain that, but understand the feeling, not the words, my friend. And my feeling is saying to hit the like button, please. For the build up, so you must add some build up elements. What are the build up elements? Downlifters, risers, build up loops, drop elements. And the correct answer is all of these. All of these. The build up loops and risers all together they sound like this. Yeah. I added drop elements with low pass filter. And in the build up we introduce a new vocal chop. And right before the drop, you must add some drum fills, short fills kind of thing. So Jim added these drop fills. And I also added a high pass filter. All the bass frequency will cut down right before the drop and a volume automation to control the volume of the buildup. You don't have to reduce 5 dB, 10 dB, no. You need to add some subtle changes, like small amount of volume reduction, not too much. Like minus 1, minus 2 dB is enough. And if you are reducing more than that, you should check your mix. This tip was given by David Guetta. I'm making this video a detailed one. I'm thinking most of you will skip to the final result. And if you are watching till now, like continuously, I appreciate you, man. You are a true legend. So I'll shut up now, but not gonna disappear for two years. And and change my music genre. So let's come to the draw. Jim added these beautiful drums. And also in the second part of the drop, I added some top loop or groove to not make the drop more static or like boring. Synth part of the drop. Very interesting thing. So we divided the drop into two sections like A part and the B part. So this is the A part. And this is the B part, like call and response. And the first part, we are asking some questions, like why don't you subscribe my channel? And in the B part, you are giving the response. Your videos are not useful, you dumb piece of sh**. So yeah, this is how basically call and response work. This is our main lead. This is the funk layer, like cowbell sound. And then this layer. And this high lead to cover the high frequency. 
एंड देन आई एड पिच बैंड We have some EQ to cut the low frequencies and little bit of low mid, and then the reverb again OTT, and then sources fat now, then ROM for reverb automations, and again the EQ to shape the sound, then a fluty filter for automation stuff, and some side chain. So the lead without effects sound like this. With effects, it sound like this. And for the V part, the lead is playing this melody. Stutter effect through gross beat. So the bass in the A part play this melody. Bass short kind of thing. Layers. So for the mid bass effect, we have some EQ, then an OTT for compression, and some sources fat now. EQ cut the high frequencies a little bit. Again in EQ to cut the sub frequencies because we have a separate sub bass. Mid bass without effect sound like this. With the effects sound like this. And for the sub bass, EQ to boost some bass frequencies, a little bit of OTT and some distortion through camel crusher. And again EQ to cut the high frequencies and boosting the sub frequencies a little bit. And a side chain. Sub bass without effects sound like this. With the effects it sound like this. And the bass in the B part sound like this. Chord. Layers for the chord. And for the effect, EQ to cut the low frequency. Some OTT for compression. Again, EQ to cut the low frequencies and to reduce some high frequencies. Then distortion through Camel Crusher. Then again, EQ to shape the sound and a side chain. And the chord for the B part sound like this. And in the drop, we also added some ear candy stuff like this. So this is all for the draw. So I changed the melody of the first four bar of the second draw. So we have the variation in our song. So I changed the melody to this. This. Chord. So that's all for this video. Now I hope you learned something new. I don't think so you have learned something new. But consider hitting the like button and subscribe button. And don't forget to stream it on Spotify. So let's check out the fan results.